Part two, abstract clay portraits inspired by Kimmy Cantrell. Hey, little artist. Welcome back for part two of our clay mask project or our clay faces. So you're gonna get your dry mask, your dry face back today. It has your name carved on the back. You might notice that it feels different. You cannot mold it or sculpt it anymore. It is dry, it has dried out. Now the good thing about it being dry is that it's hard. The bad thing is that it's fragile. Okay, fragile means what? It means that it is prone to breaking, so we have to be very careful. So try to leave it on your desk, on your table, your workspace, and try not to move it around too much. Um, over here, I am using acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is different than watercolor. It's thicker, it has a viscosity. That means it's kind of like a paste, okay? Um, it is permanent, so please try to be careful with it. Try not to get it on your clothes because it is very, very difficult to get it out. While, when you're working with watercolor paint, you want to add water to it, right? But this paint is already juicy, so I don't need to add water. So my paintbrush, when you pull it out of the water, you can kind of just dry it off on your little sponge here. And then I'm just gonna choose a color, and I'm gonna start painting. You'll notice that it goes on really smooth, and sometimes you might make a mistake. You might accidentally go out of the lines a little bit, right? So let's say that I accidentally, whoops, get a mistake, make a mistake, excuse me, <laughs> and um, paint somewhere I don't want to paint. That is okay. We're gonna let that mistake dry. And then the cool thing about acrylic paint is you can layer over it. I can cover up that mistake with a brand new color. Okay, and sometimes you kind of have to add a little bit more paint on there to get inside those nooks and crannies of your clay piece. When you switch colors, you need to go to the bottom of your water cup, swish around on the bottom, and it does change the color of the water. Do not drink it, it's not juice, <laughs> not good for you. And then I, I rinsed that one out pretty well, but sometimes you might need to use your sponge to just kind of help get all of the last color that you were using completely off. I'm going to speed up the video. I'm actually really taking my time. And notice how I just covered up that mistake with a brand new color. So just make sure that if you make a mistake, let it dry completely and then you can paint right over it. Once your face has dried completely, we're going to put a layer of glue on top. Now don't worry, this will dry clear and shiny. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna just glop it on there. Get it inside of all those nooks and crannies. Okay, don't worry about how it looks right now because it will dry clear and shiny. And this is going to strengthen up the clay so that it will prevent it from breaking apart. Once it's dried, it becomes shiny and beautiful. I cannot wait to see your finished project. Remember, take your time, try your best, and have fun.